Hey kids, last week we learned that prayer is all about a deep connection with God. God's dream for His creation is for all of us to have full and healthy lives. Sometimes we pray by ourselves, and other times we pray with other people. When we pray with other people, we're building stronger relationships with other people. God made us to be in relationship, not only with others, but also with Him. Prayer is very important to Jesus. He taught his followers that God's dream involves justice, love, and living life to the full. And justice just means that everyone has a special and equal place with fair treatment. We also learn that there are different versions of the Lord's Prayer, one in Matthew's Gospel and one in Luke's Gospel. Even though people pray the Lord's Prayer using different words, it's still a prayer focused on justice and hope for the entire world. So now, on to lesson two, praying to whom? The very first word of the Lord's Prayer is our. The word our teaches us something very important. It tells us that each one of us is God's child. And if we're all God's children, then we're all a family, God's family. Even though we may have different skin color or speak a different language or come from different countries or have different families of our own, we are still God's family. This means we belong to God, to one another, and to everyone on earth. If one member of God's family is hurting, God hurts as well, and we should too. God is bigger and more mysterious than we could possibly imagine. No matter how many names or pictures we can think of God, there are still many, many more. The names or pictures that we use to see and help us to better understand God are called metaphors. Each metaphor helps us to know God in a better way. When Jesus first taught his disciples the Lord's Prayer, he chose to say, Our Father. In Jesus' time, Roman emperors were often called fathers. And these emperors did not treat their people very well. They took most of their money or their possessions and didn't help them to have full and healthy lives. Father was a beautiful and a powerful metaphor for Jesus to use because he wanted to remind people how God is their father. God is a loving God. God is an awesome God. And God is the one who always reaches out to us. Jesus wanted to remind them that God not kings or rulers, is the one who would take care of them and love them unconditionally. Most churches today pray the Lord's Prayer using Our Father, just like Jesus did. We could change Our Father to Our Loving God to help us remember that there are countless descriptions for God. Now, let's take the word Hallowed. Hallowed means holy or sacred. Jesus was Jewish, and Jewish tradition believed that the holiness of God should be honored and respected. God's name deserves our deepest respect and love. In the Old Testament, there are many instances where the Israelites refused to say the name of God out of honor and respect. Using the word Hallowed in the Lord's Prayer is an example of adoration. And adoration means deep love and respect. By doing this, we remember that anything that we speak or we ask of God should always come from a place of deep love and respect. <laughs>